As a leader, you will need to understand how any one person can bring down your organization and ruin its reputation. Or that same person can enhance the company by building a more powerful reputation. I'm pretty sure I would rather have the outstanding latter person and their accomplishment on the social network rather than the former disgruntled, destructive person. But achieving that state is not easy. Managers get lazy. They start cutting out for golf, and as Don Cherry would say, forget to practice the basics. A leader's job is to keep people sharp and alert. A while back, I was visiting national leasing, and of course, trying not to interfere with my successor, Tom Pundik's activities. He was away that day, so it was easy for me. Um, I bumped into a lady wearing a boot cast, and uh, she told me it was an accident that she had five or six months previously and that it, the healing wasn't happening and that she would need uh, another MRI, but she couldn't get in for six months. Well, we talked for a while, and then I decided to interfere a bit. I went over to see the VP of HR and suggested to him that it was inexcusable for our employee to be in this situation. Do you think one of the jets would wait six months for an MRI? No, I don't think our employee should either. So plan to make a difference in people's lives. Good employers need to think out of the box and do whatever it takes to improve their employees' lives. This may sound strange, but business is not the most important thing in people's lives. Good employers support the balancing in people's lives and give them a chance to clear distractions. Their payback to the company for that support is a high performance organization. Now I want to show you a video of uh, some amazing, fun-loving, high achievers at National Leasing. Uh, I'm not sure how I roll this, but uh, let's roll the video. Here we go. <laughs> This is going to be awesome. We're going to take a tour of National Leasing and see what makes it so great. One of Canada's greatest companies and a very admired corporate culture. It's, I have a feeling, all about people and we're going to find out today, so come with me. It's just like we're one big family. Every day, you know, the best way I can describe it is you come into work on Mondays and everyone's excited to hear about your weekend. So that's, that pretty much put the culture of National Leasing in a nutshell right there. And you also, what you're leasing is you're leasing equipment that you need for your business. Right. Right? So I want to, well, and because I lease this equipment, my business flourishes. That's right. And therefore, I have the money to pay you back. That's right. Boom. I'll take it. What did I just buy? You're approved. Okay. <laughs> See? As long as your credit uh, falls into um, what we're looking for, then you're approved in, within eight seconds. That would make my life a lot easier. Yeah, it makes a lot of people's lives easier. I'll bet. Yeah. I don't know what you do with that, that? Oh, yeah. This is Stuart. Stuart, what do you do here? Or do you just work out all day? I just work out all day. One He's of the there. benefits. Kick it up a notch pretty soon. Are you? Yeah. You, you want to race? Join me or yeah, kind of. Want to race? Well, why am I running as fast as I possibly can? Because I'm in better shape. That's true, he is. Who's the most fun at a party? Look for Kathy Connor. She is the leader of the pack. Are you aware that Nick, no, Nick Logan very recently declared um, mm. this department the most fun at a party? Yes. Like you do partner dance? Yes. You want to teach me something right now? Because we almost actually match. Okay? I did, and I'm sorry. <laughs> My shoes are big anyway. Wow, that's good. See? Not bad. This is the only place I've ever been in my life that has, like, a workplace that has a reading room, which is awesome. I want to do some reading. Or a quiet room, 
which I'm going to interpret as the nap room. And so I'm out, literally. This is the best place in the world. It's the only place where I'd come every day, even if I didn't work here. There's nothing better. I would still be there if I hadn't lost my ball hockey skills. Um, most of these people can work from home, yet they will drive through snowstorms not to miss a day of socialization. Why is that? Well, they thrive on group dynamics, colleagues turbocharge each other, they love the positive reinforcement of working together, and they're thrilled to be on a team that's getting better every day. And there's a, a real pride in fulfilling the, am the ambition of being a much better company. And I can tell you firsthand that these people love beating the tar out of the Toronto-based competition every day. I also uh, believe that people want to be talking with pride to their friends and family at the dinner table about the company they work for. So employers here today, think about the dinner conversations your employees will have tonight. And make sure it is one that you would like to hear. And remember that the future employees sitting with you today will want to be making the organization they work for progressive, dynamic, and one they will be proud of and want to be talking about with their children and friends. My private goal as a CEO was to make individuals successful, understand their aptitudes, give them training, mentoring, and tools, coaching, and put them on, a, on the right track to achieve and then celebrate success with them. During that process, I would often talk about a magic formula that worked for me. Simply put, effort and talent equals results. Each one of us will have a different mix for each challenge we face. So let me conclude with some elder advice by telling you don't be shy about turning up the effort ingredient wherever it is needed. Now, on behalf of the associates, the faculty, the senior students here today, and all of the graduates that have gone before you at the Asper School, I offer my sincere best wishes for your enjoyment and satisfaction over the next few years. And I look forward to following your brand many years beyond your time at school. Enjoy every day of this fabulous journey. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you, Nick, for sharing some extraordinary um, uh, moments and an extraordinary career with us. Um, I know uh, that all of you out there are now lining up to work for uh, National Leasing, and, and uh, I'll just point to, to uh, the new president, Tom, over here, who, uh, who might want to chat with you at some point in time. Um, you're welcome for that, Tom. Anyway. Um, Creating a culture like this takes time, focus, work, and a tremendous respect for people. And I think you heard that coming through loud and clear in Nick's uh, comments today. You could see the value he places on people. It takes a lot of hard work and effort when you're, fo when, when you're faced with uh, downturns and economies and everything else. But please, please remember that you have somebody right here in front of you in Winnipeg who created that environment and know that that is something you as leaders can also do. So um, I would like to thank you, Nick, and I hope you like presents as much as I do because um, we have a bag full of University of Manitoba goodies for you. I'm pretty sure there's some sports affiliated stuff in here uh, that you'll put to good use. And again, thank you for your words of wisdom. Wow. <laughs> All right, we're just about at the end. Um, just a 
few. Uh, I'd, like, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes. We have to thank people. Well, we don't have to. We want to. Um, but there are a few people who really deserve our thanks today. First of all, I'd like to uh, start with thanking the associates of the Asper School of Business, uh, whose generous support was instrumental in making this event happen today. So round of applause there. I would like to acknowledge and thank Rick McKay, Chair of the Associates, and John Jabs, where are you, John? Right over here. Chair of the Young Associates for being here today together with dozens of associates and community leaders who are in the audience today to support you. A round of applause, please. A uh, special thanks to Tara Lee Turner, who is uh, the Executive Director of the Associates. Your work and efforts are always appreciated, Tara Lee. Um, I'd like to thank the wonderful, wonderful faculty of the Asper School of Business for showing such tremendous support. And I'm pretty sure after you spent a few years with them, you're gonna be very, very excited about knowing them. So a round of applause for the faculty. <laughs> We've already said thanks to this woman, but Courtney Thompson, where are you? Way back in the corner. Courtney is the Alumni Relations and MBA Recruitment o Officer, and she was the, the one who really worked hard to get this event going. And thanks uh, to the incredible dedication shown by those dynamic members of the Commerce Students Association, together with their president, Noah Yagi. Now finally, a few last words before we leave here today. Um, a thank you to all of the first year students who have joined us here today. This is an exciting time for all of us. You represent to us the future leaders who will serve to keep us strong. You are the next generation of entrepreneurs who will make our province vibrant and rich. And you are the next wave of community leaders who will show us greater political destiny and who will show us how to lead with compassion, integrity, and strength. You have made a very wise choice in joining the Asper School family, one with a very rich history and a very supportive community. And so I'd like to leave you with these words from one of the greatest artists who ever walked the face of this earth, Michelangelo. The greater danger for most of us lies in not setting our aim too high and falling short, but in setting our aim too low and achieving our mark. And so as you start this wonderful new journey within the halls of Asper, set your goals high. We'll be here alongside of you cheering you on and know that we are counting on you. Thanks so much. And this is where you get to go to the bar if that's where you're headed.